Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how the DSHOT 600 signal looks like without a filter cap, uh, which is a, a capacitor that filters out the signal, and with a filter cap. So uh, it's well noted that the 35 amp MS Racer Star MS series can run DSHOT 600 without removing the filter cap, and you will see why on the oscilloscope in a minute. Now. Uh, luckily on this one, it's such a small filter cap, such a small capacitor, that it really does not change the signal so much, but it really does change the signal. Uh, but it could kind of get away with doing that. You could get away with not removing the filter cap on this one. Now others, they're going to possibly have bigger capacitors, which is really going to uh, just corrupt basically the, the, the signal that's coming from the flight controller to the ESC. Alright, so let me tell you about the oscilloscope before we go in. Uh, my oscilloscope can measure... Two, take two measurements at a time. Uh, one measurement you'll see in the color yellow and the other one in purple or pink or whatever it shows up on the camera. Um, so what I did is is I took the yellow measurement is going to be off straight from the flight controller of how the signal should exactly look like. And in the second measurement I actually traced down the BB2 chip uh, which is this chip right here and pin number four right there is the signal input pin and now somewhere here we have the filter capacitor I didn't trace it down yet so I just can't really point it out so the signal comes in goes to a capacitor and then pops into this pin number four so the purple line is measuring right there I'm actually touching that pin right there uh, right as it goes into the BB2 chip telling it what to do from the flight controller so we're gonna see how it looks like with the filter caps and the yellow line looks like how it's supposed to be uh, without the filter cap so if we would remove it that's how it's supposed to be so let's jump into the oscilloscope and we take it from there alright guys so now we're, we're looking at the uh, DSHOT 600 signal on the oscilloscope and as you can see the yellow lines is going to be channel 1 and channel 1 is measuring the signal coming straight out of the flight controller and the purple line on the bottom is going to be measuring the the signal after the filter cap so I'm going to be putting my probe exactly on the BB2 chips input pin so let's take a look now this flight con this ESC the, the racer star 35 amp ESC is known that it could run DSHOT 600 without any modifications now let's see why that is possible so okay so here we have the signal on the BB2 chip input pin. Now as you can see that filter cap is eaten part of the signal, but not so much, so it's it's okay. The, the, the flight controller would understand, the ESC would understand it, and everything will be just all right. But it's highly recommended to remove that filter cap. Now some ESCs will have larger uh, capacitors, which will eat up a lot of the signal and which will basically corrupt the signal, and we don't want that. Now the reason why they put these capacitors in place is so that when there's so much noise in the system um, these uh, smoothen out the multi-shot and one-shot uh, signal that we saw before uh, but here in uh, D-shot it's very sensitive so we can't really be we, we can't play with the with the amount of uh, timing that can be played because it can switch a 1 to a 0 or a 0 to a 1 and it could just really corrupt the information so it won't understand what to do so luckily this ESC is uh, has a very tiny capacitor which is really not affecting the signal that much but it is affecting the signal and if we remove it we should get exactly an overlay of the yellow line which is the perfect signal that's coming straight out the flight controller and now let's go back to the overview and talk a little bit more about this so so as you guys just saw on oscilloscope uh, how the signal looks with the filter cap in place this is totally fine but if we start increasing to DSHOT 1200 then I think you'll have a lot of problems with this now at the current moment of time I don't have an ESC which which has a uh, a bigger filter cap on the signal so to to actually show you uh, but that'll be coming up on my next videos hopefully one of the DYS ESCs that I've purchased ha has that problem and we can just look into it and that's really going to conclude it for this video, guys. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. You learned something and just think it's useful. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. So please don't forget to like and subscribe and share. And please.
please consider supporting me on Patreon. That would be awesome. That would be great. It'll help me out, get everything in, and just test everything out thoroughly, and just give you back just my input, and then you guys just see the data for yourself and decide for yourself. So, and don't forget, I will be doing the giveaways for most of everything that I have. I'm planning on giving out, doing a frame giveaway now until uh, we reach our goals on Patreon. And um, that's really it. And if you can't support me on Patreon, you know, if you feel generous, you could always use my affiliates links. I have them down there. Um, they would, they're just going straight back into my channel and uh, just to review things. And uh, basically, I'm just doing everything for you guys. And I'm just kind of obsessed with this. So I really just want to. Uh, review and just test everything thoroughly and um yeah that that's basically it guys so uh take care happy flying and i hope you enjoyed it see ya